If you want to see how to make this absolutely delicious spinach and shrimp stuffed salmon, you better keep watching. I'll catch you guys in another video. See you tomorrow. For this recipe, we're going to need salmon. We're also going to need shrimp as well as cream cheese, some spinach. I'm going to be using frozen spinach. If you don't have frozen, of course, you could buy a bag of spinach and just cook it down basically until it reduces just like the cooked spinach that's in the bowl. Also. We have Old Bay seasoning, we have lemon, butter, minced garlic, dried parsley, Creole seasoning, salmon seasoning, of course my favorite, cedar plank, salmon seasoning. We have some Parmesan cheese on deck and smoked paprika. If there's anything else that I forgot to mention, trust me, I'm definitely mentioning it in the video. Let's get in there and season our shrimp. As you can see, we have some shrimp that's cut into bite-sized pieces and we have some with the tail still on. Only reason is because we're gonna be using this for staging at the end, so we gotta have that presentation, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do is, we are gonna add some Creole seasoning, of course, use your favorite brand. Don't add too much, but add enough because you want your shrimp to have flavor. And we're also gonna go in there and add my favorite cedar plank salmon seasoning. And this seasoning has lemon bits in there as well, as well as different things. It's so good. And we're gonna also add a little smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is gonna give it that smoky flavor and it's also gonna be good when it comes to presentation. It's gonna give it a nice color. All right, time to get in there. Mix it all up. Make sure you get every piece of shrimp. You want it to be packed with flavor. You don't want no bland shrimp, all right? <laughs> all right, this is perfect. Everything has color and we are good to go. To our cast iron skillet, we're gonna add some butter. When it comes down to adding the butter, there's really no measurements involved. It's just you add the amount based on what you're going to be frying up, or should I say what you're going to be searing up. Just like that. And I am going to go in and add some shallots, which I forgot to mention when I was introducing the ingredients. We're going to add the shallots. I like shallots because even though they're onions, it has like a little sweet taste to it. So it balances out perfectly. Just gonna allow those shallots to cook down just a bit. How do you know when to add your shrimp? Trust me, once those aromatics are released from the shallots, you are going to know, trust me. Perfect. They smell so good. If you think onions smell good, chop up some shallots and add it to a pan and allow it to do its thing. You're gonna see for yourself, it smells so good. We're not gonna cook the shrimp all the way through right now because we're gonna place it into our oven. We're gonna hit it with a spritz of lemon juice because we want these flavors to pop. We want flavors in these shrimp from beginning to end. So as of this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow that shrimp to cool down just a bit because we're gonna add it to our mixture and everything and incorporate it with the cream cheese and so on and so forth. So right now, let's work on making our cream cheese mixture. In this bowl, I have cream cheese and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the spinach, just like that. <laughs> it's just sitting on top. I'm also gonna add some Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. just like that. Add as much as you want to add because everything goes according to your desired preference. We're going to add a little Creole seasoning. We're going to go in with the minced garlic. Also going to add some parsley. And this is going to give it a nice flavor as well. And we're going to go in with our spoon and we're going to mix this concoction all together. <laughs> Now here's the thing guys, whenever you're making this cream cheese mixture, make sure that your cream cheese is room temperature. You want it to be room temperature. It's so much easier to deal with. It's just like when you're making cheesecake. It has to be room temperature. Anything other than that is gonna be tough. Mix it together really good. And to this mixture as well, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna add our shrimp. 
I want all of the juice that's in here, I want it in this bowl right here. We're gonna incorporate the shrimp with the spinach mixture. Perfect. If you wanna add lump crab to this, you can as well. To this mixture, I'm gonna hit it off with a little bit of lemon juice, just like that. Add a little Old Bay seasoning to the mix as well. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. We're gonna set it aside because it's time for us to work on our salmon. All right, I'm working with this piece of salmon right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down the middle, just like that. You see this pan right here with all of the bits at the bottom? We have the shallots and everything and we still have that shrimp sauce that's in the bottom. Guess what, we're keeping this pan. We're not gonna wipe it out, we're not cleaning it out, we're not starting from scratch. We're gonna keep this pan because this pan is gonna be filled with a ton of flavor. What I am gonna do, however, is I'm gonna add a little oil to the bottom because we don't want our salmon to stick. All right, we're gonna go in with a little bit of Old Bay. A little bit, not too much. And we're gonna take some of that delicious filling and we're gonna place it right on top. Just like that. Make sure you get those shrimp pieces all up in the mix. Mm -hmm. This will make the perfect Sunday dinner. So flavorful and so pretty on presentation. We're gonna take the other piece of the salmon and put it right on top, just like that. And of course, we gotta season it, guys. Yes, we do. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of Creole seasoning. Give it a little extra flavor. A little Old Bay, of course. A little salmon plank seasoning. A little butter. Just drop it on the top. Just like that. It's gonna give it a nice brown color. Mm -hmm. Put some up here as well. A little bit of parsley, make it look sexy. And some fresh lemon juice. Right now our oven is set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna place it in the oven, allow it to bake through. While our beautiful stuffed salmon is in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I am gonna be making some mashed potatoes to go with our salmon. So here's what we gotta do. Using our potato masher, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna mash these potatoes really, really good. Once everything is nice and mashed, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some butter. Yeah, it looks like a lot of butter, but guess what? This is a whole bag of potatoes. We're gonna add that butter because we want a nice buttery flavor. After adding the butter, we're gonna add a little salt because we want that flavor, of course. You want your mashed potatoes to have flavor, obviously. We're gonna add some heavy cream now. When I make my mashed potatoes, I love to add heavy cream. It gives it that delicious, rich flavor. Add the Gruyere cheese to step these mashed potatoes up a couple notches. Put your back into it, let's go. If you haven't worked out for the day, now here you go. If anybody asks you, did you work out today? You'd be like, yes, <laughs> and own it with conviction. <laughs> what did you do? I mashed some potatoes. <laughs> oh my God. All right, now that our mashed potatoes are done, we are gonna go and check on our salmon and woo, look at how beautiful. Nice and, oh my goodness, nice and juicy. It's glistening, it just looks absolutely perfect. We're gonna take that sauce and we're gonna drizzle it onto the salmon just like we're basting a turkey because don't nobody want no dry salmon. We like our fish wet, you hear me? So we're just gonna take that sauce and keep drizzling it onto the salmon. And because it's the last two to three minutes of the cooking process, we're also gonna put that shrimp on top for that beautiful finishing effect. And yeah, we're gonna drizzle some more sauce onto it. And it's about that time, guys. We're gonna take our salmon out of the oven and it's time to plate this bad boy. Absolutely amazing. You can't tell me this right here is not everything. This would make the perfect Sunday dinner. It would make the perfect date dinner. I mean, 
just dinner in general. It's just so absolutely amazing. Not to mention the different contrasts of flavors. Trust me, this recipe right here is definitely a winner. Anyway, guys, as always, it's been fun. Thank you so much for cooking with Tammy, and I will catch you guys in another video. Bye, guys.